using raw materials to make everyday items like drinking straws or to the parts in your cell phone, there's been a tectonic shift in making life on our earth more sustainable. Recycling can help divert waste from landfills, but studies show that only 33% of the plastic and paper we put into our blue bins every week is actually recycled. There's a silver lining to this. People seem to want to recycle, even if most of what is in our bin doesn't actually get reused. By customers demanding more recyclable material to be used in our homes and consumer products, it creates market incentives for helping our planet. William Jenkins is Director of Environment and Sustainability at Clayton Homes. We sat down to discuss how Clayton diverts thousands of pounds of unnecessary construction waste from landfills every year and a sustainability pledge to plant millions of trees in 2022. Thanks for joining us, William. I appreciate it. So just looking at Clayton, and you know Clayton is such an innovator in our space, but what does Clayton use or how do they how do they use new building technologies to reduce the carbon footprint? Yeah, so you're right. We we love innovation. And so through our operational excellence program, we are always evolving the way that we build. The combination of innovation with those new building technologies and our goal of continuous improvement allows us to drive efficiencies in our building process perhaps more so than your traditional site-built operation. So those efficiencies grant us a little bit more control over the waste we produce and the energy we use. Technology has come a long way in the last decade or so, and so through innovating in the building process, we're able to leverage these new technologies to reduce our fuel and energy consumption. So tell me a little bit about your factories, because I think that's a really important part of the process. Is there a lot of automation and machinery that helps to reduce the waste when it comes to building? So our our manufacturing facilities um, do have some degree of automation, usually on the supply side. So Clayton Supply is kind of our building components manufacturing side of home building group. Effectively, they build windows, doors, trusses, panels, things of that nature. At the home building facilities, we really reduce waste through several different avenues. It's such a big opportunity. We build our homes indoors in these climate controlled environments, and that allows us to monitor the material usage, reduce waste, of course, keeping those materials out of the elements. So we know these standard exact repeatable dimensions, and that basically helps us cut down on any excess materials. We also aim to reuse and recycle materials wherever possible. I think every person in this country is probably feeling the supply chain issues. We tried to order some things here for a clubhouse we're remodeling, And everything is so backed out. I mean, I got an email the other day that one of my suppliers is not going to be able to deliver furniture until January 30th, 2023. So tell us how supply chain is affecting the manufacturing process for Clayton. Our vertical integration with Clayton Supply has really helped us in these times. And that's because we're able to produce these building components in-house. Again, that really plays into the environmental side because we can hold those supply operations to the same standard as our home building facilities. Again, that lets us control energy and and waste inputs that go in. No doubt it's been a tough time for supply chains across the board. I admittedly am not the uh, supply chain expert here. Our procurement teams have worked overboard to keep us kind of on target. They've done a great job. So can I ask you, how does manufactured homes reduce construction waste? And what's the environmental impact of manufacturing offsite or in a factory? It all comes down to waste sent to the landfill, waste recycled, and waste reused. And like I mentioned earlier, having these standards, you know, in our facilities of standard measurements, we can control the excess use of materials. And our teams have really gotten it down to a science. So we can build a typical off-site built home or a manufactured home while producing just under two residential sized trash cans of waste. Now put that, you know, in comparison to site built, it's in stark contrast. Your traditional site built home is going to produce a lot more waste. And so ultimately that means we're sending less waste to the landfill for each manufactured home we build. You know, it's Earth Day. I think there's Arbor Day next week as well. How does Clayton take the lead on environmental stewardship? What are some of the things that Clayton as a company is doing to kind of move this forward? Yeah, so at Clayton, we're really integrating sustainability across all aspects of our business, not just home building. 
So that includes taking things beyond our operational boundaries. So partnering with philanthropic organizations is one way we can take the lead in stewardship. Now, it's interesting you mentioned Arbor Day. Clayton and the Arbor Day Foundation actually just recently launched a new and important partnership to plant 2.33 million native trees across the country. And those trees are going to help restore and revitalize forest ecosystems. Now, that number, why 2.33 million? That represents planting two trees for every estimated tree we use in home building. Are Clayton employees involved in planting the trees? Is that part of your time off opportunity to go out and do those things? So we do have paid volunteer time off for a lot of our employees. And when it comes to the Arbor Day Foundation, they can help us establish these planting events. But this initial commitment of 2.33 million is actually going to be handled uh, with Arbor Day and, of course, partner with local non-government organizations. You guys have thought through every part of the business. Being able to go back and partner with somebody like an Arbor Day Foundation and planting all these trees. I mean, it is such a significant benefit, I think, to buying your homes. It's, you know, you're buying a great home, but at the same time, you're also buying this mission or purpose of Clayton to give back. So tell me a little bit about some of the enhancements or the the technologies that you guys are using within the house to create even more sustainability. A lot of our features are often included in what we call energy smart home packages. Uh, they can include Ecobee smart thermostats, upgraded insulation, low E windows, which are effectively more insulated, more energy efficient windows, and these dual element water heaters. What that package does is it helps make home ownership a little bit more environmentally responsible. And the reason that that's the case is you're letting the home operate without using as many natural resources. It's more efficient when it comes to the natural resource inputs that go into the home. So if you were to equate a cost to that savings, how much do you think you're saving people that live in a Clayton home? I mean, I know there's a lot of variables, but how much do you think someone is saving living in one of your homes? Yeah, it's really difficult to put a cost on it, like you mentioned. And it all comes down to the, the end user, right? The homeowner and how they decide to basically use the tools at their disposal. To put things in perspective, our Energy Star homes, we built over you know 20,000 of those or so last year. Energy Star is traditionally a 40% cutoff. So basically it has to be 40% or greater, uh, more energy efficient than a traditional home built to code. What features should prospective home buyers look for uh, more in sustainable homes? Some of the features listed in our Energy Smart Home Package, and of course our Energy Star Home is, is going to be a little bit more energy efficient. It has to do with upgraded insulation, a smart thermostat, low E windows, and of course a, a more efficient water heater. I always love the stat because it puts things in perspective. If we look at 20% of U.S. emissions in greenhouse gases, so let's think carbon emissions here, 20% of that is actually tied to the energy that's related to powering, heating, and cooling homes. So there's really a substantial opportunity, not only for us as builders, but for homeowners to pursue these energy efficient upgrades. Now, I know the industry in general for manufactured housing is definitely shifting. We have probably like a, a younger demographic entering into the market and having an interest in manufactured housing. Tell us, how do you see maybe that Gen Z or that younger buyer, do you see that they're more environmentally minded and are they actually looking to manufactured housing for their next home? So in general, we have seen that these younger generations, whether they're millennials or Gen Zs, they care a lot about what companies are doing when it comes to the environment. They see companies as having a substantial amount of power to enact positive change, whether it's on climate change or other environmental initiatives. Now, when it comes to the homes that we build, I think the Echo Bee is kind of a, a great point to make here because these younger generations, not only do they care more about the environment, they care more about having a kind of smart and connected home. So the Echo Bee thermostat allows them to really control, again, a lot of the energy use of their house through their phone, and it gives them kind of a better user experience. Now, when it comes to other trends and things, we have a consumer insights team and a design team here in-house at Clayton that continually monitor and research these trends. A lot of these younger generations are just now starting to enter the buying market. So I'm sure we're gonna to continue to see a lot more changes through the coming years. What do you think's on the horizon for Clayton that, uh, that you would love for the audience to hear? We're really going 
you know, all in on sustainability. Like I mentioned, we're incorporating it across all aspects of our business. When it comes to home building, we really want to lead the charge as leaders in affordable housing and attainable housing. In some degree, it's up to us to really figure out the best way to democratize a lot of these features. Traditionally, there's been kind of a green premium that people think are associated with sustainability or energy efficiency. Mm -hmm. And we're constantly innovating to find new ways to kind of tackle that. We're going to be incorporating more renewable energy systems at our facilities to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions from electricity there, or of course, modernizing our fleet. Really, there's just a lot of exciting things on the horizon. Thank you for listening to What Living Means. If you've enjoyed our show, please consider leaving us a rating and a review on your preferred podcast app. I'm Vanessa Jasinski. I'll see you next time.